In the year of the dragon, in a world beyond the realms, I, like all the others, awaited the birth of the dragon of whom the prophecies foretold. But the Dark Master heard the prophecies as well. I should have hidden the eggs long before, but I... I thought we were ready. I thought they were safe. Oh, how I was wrong. Save them! The Dark Armies have come! May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Eventually, the egg came to rest in a distant swamp, where a family of dragonflies gathered round, wondering what magnificent creature could possibly live inside. They didn't have to wonder for long. What emerged from the egg frightened them at first, but finally amazed and astonished them. Eight, nine, ten. Here I come! It was a purple dragon, who they eventually adopted and raised as one of their own. They named him Spyro, and he grew up alongside Sparks, the young dragonfly who was born the same day. In fact, the two were almost like brothers, and a more oddly matched yet compatible pair of brothers the world has never seen. Never catch me this time, purple boy! As for Spyro, he, like all of us, accepted the world into which he was born, believing he was one of them. A big purple one of them, true, but one of them, nonetheless. I see you, my little glowing friend. Seeing and catching are two different things, a big boy. Yeah, you better run. What's the matter, little Spyro? You can't fly? Oh, that's right, you walk everywhere. Mm, that's too bad. <laughs> You're toast when I catch you! Ah, must be tough to lose all the time. Ah! Alright, let me out of here, you overgrown fungus! Spyro! Seriously, let me a hand here, will you, brother? Geez, Sparks, I don't know. Frogweed's gotta eat, too. Spyro, whack it! Do something! I'm your buddy! My wings are getting moldy! <laughs> Ugh, now I smell almost as bad as you do. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. 
See you later, sucker! So much for gratitude. Hey, that's cheating. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, pfft. Excuses, excuses. Catch up or give up, Chunky. Where's that little Matt gone now? Has everybody seen a giant purple thing around here? I seem to have lost mine. You know, this is getting a little boring. Ah! Sparks! <laughs> I thought all you guys was gone. You miserable coward, let me go! <laughs> Don't let him get away! Let me out of here and fight me like a... thing, whatever you are. You pathetic wretch! I've had about enough of you! Sparks, look out! No! Was that fire, dude? Take care of him! I gotta report the sender! Get me out of here, Spyro! I think my wings are singed! You okay? You almost torched me, dude! Wait... You breathe fire! So I'm just about ready to blow the top off that place and kick that guy's booty when Spyro let loose with some serious flame, dude. No joke. Flames from the mouth. Well, I, I, I was just trying to help. No, yeah, some help. He nearly turned me to ashes, dude. Mom, Dad, you should have seen him. He came out breathing fire. All right? I tell you, it was crazy. You don't believe me. Spyro, tell him. Well, it's true, Dad. I swear. I just got real mad, opened my mouth, and whoosh, Flame City. It's not that, Spyro. I believe you both. It's just that your mother and I knew this day would come. What day? The day when we would have to tell you the truth. So that was the night that Spyro learned he wasn't a dragonfly after all, but in fact an exile from an unknown distant land. So... You, you mean I'm not your real son? You are our real son. It's just that you came from somewhere else. Far away, where wars rage on and on, and the innocent seem to always pay the price. It wasn't long after that night that Spyro decided to venture forth and find his home. So that's it, huh? Leaving sparks behind the old homestead? Not a care in the world. Don't look back. This is your home, Sparks. But I just found out that my home is out there somewhere, and I've got to find it. Besides, I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just leaving you where you belong. Well, I thought I belonged with you, because I'm always with you. But I guess I was wrong, huh? I'm sure I'm wrong in a lot of things. You know what? You're right, I'm wrong. Don't worry about him, Spyro. You know how hot-headed he can be. You'll see him when you get back. Now, now, son. Keep your head up. Your nose clean? and use that breath of yours wisely. All gifts come with a price. Don't listen to your father's preaching, Spyro. Just be yourself. It's all any of us can do. So, hard as it was, Spyro left the only family he had ever known and journeyed on to where he did not know. <laughs> Spyro. So, uh, me and the old man were chatting, and this whole belonging thing, you know, came up, and we decided that best friends belong together, even if one of them is purple and does have some weight issues. Weight issues, huh? 
Well, at least I've never been turned into a lantern. Oh, please, lantern schmantern. Let's see what's out there. <laughs> Breathe, Sparks, old boy. Go to your happy place. What in the world was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, I'm going this way, far from it. Which brings us to the moment that Spyro's journey really began. When he and I finally met again for the very first time. Oh, it's a long story. And I thought you were a big one. Goodness. <laughs> you're... you're alive. But it's too late. Too late. T too late for what? Who are you? D do you know me? Where do I come from? What are you? What are we? What am I? You mean you don't know? Does it sound like he knows? You're a dragon. When you were just an egg, it was my job to protect you. It was my job to protect all of you. There are others? Others? There were. There were four of us. Guardians, that is. And we had one job. Ensure that all the eggs were hatched. It was the year of the dragon after all, and our very survival depended on those eggs. But the temple and grotto are now gone. Overrun by... Temple? What temple? Can you take me? Can I see it? Where I came from, I mean? No, no, no. Who knows what forces occupy the temple now? What state it's in? You don't understand. After they came for you. They? Well, who is they? And, and why did they come for me? Because the prophecies spoke of a purple dragon. A dragon born only once every ten generations. You. You? Does that mean him? Oh, wait. This guy, Spyro, some special once in a purple thing? <laughs> I think you might have uh, mixed that one up. Whoa, that's a little bit of a stretch. I've heard some uh, doozies in my day, but that takes the cake. Spyro, is it? Well, Spyro, I assure you that I'm telling you the truth. The Dark Army's attacked, intent on destroying the eggs and killing the rest of us. And they nearly succeeded. And then they lay siege to the other islands. We were at war. For many years, we fought all over the islands. Brutal clashes with the armies of the Dark Master, who was intent on preventing the prophecies from coming true. The other three guardians and I led our small but valiant forces into battle after battle against our ruthless mercenary foe. And when we were beginning to turn the tide, Cinder came. Cinder? Yes, Cinder. Cinder was, is, monstrous, horrific, ferocious, black dragon that fills the skies with terror. An unstoppable force of nature. Uh, yeah, you had me at ferocious. Listen, sounds like that thing that was chasing us, Spyro. Yes, she still searches for me. And years ago, I watched as Cinder plucked the other Guardians from the fields of battle, like so many ripe grapes from a vine. Without them, our cause is lost. Only I, Igniters, manage to escape. Not that it matters. Cinder now rules all, and I sit here wondering what might have been, what else I might have done. Wow. Sounds fun. I want to hang out with this guy. Yeah, why have you given up? I just find out that I'm this special dragon, and you tell me all is lost? That I have no home or family left? I've come way too far to give up now. I want to see where I come from. Hold up, Savior Boy. Were you not listening to this guy? He's talking about flying dragons and war and horrible... This is bad stuff, all right? I don't know if we're hearing the same thing. Yes, Spyro. It's not as simple as that. 
It's true, the prophecies spoke of the purple dragon destined to put his stamp on this age. But the prophecies didn't foretell the devastation that surrounds us now. Maybe you're right, but I'm willing to try. I want to take the first step. You're actually gonna go along with this lunatic? Very well then. We'll go. You deserve to see your beginning before it all ends. Am I the only one sane here? He's telling us we're doomed, all right? That's when I go, ah, maybe we should, you know, go back to the forest with the flowers and the fun stuff. Cinder's soldiers must have knocked the other two statues out of place. Heathens. What other two statues? On the other side of this door are two statues just like these. When all four statues are positioned correctly, the door opens. Yeah, good. I was never good at geometry. So what do you want us to do? Spyro, I need you to get in there and move the statues in place. Me? How? There's a small tunnel that animals use to access the caves. Find it and use it. Yeah, animals are... Okay, you know what? You do that and I'll wait here. Hey, when in doubt, break it, right? Go nuts. Any trouble? A little insect trouble. N nothing I couldn't handle. Little insects? My tail section. The pass is prelude to model a dim promise. Allow us entrance. Do not reject us. Are you making that up? It should open for us. There is a disturbance. It seems my fears have been realized. They desecrated the interior as well. Guess we'll have to open it the old-fashioned way. Make your way through the connecting rooms. Restoring every statue you can find. Hey, you know what? Let's don't and say we didn't. Why don't you do it? You want my help? Well, well. Hop up. All right. The old guy's coming to life. Careful, Spyro. Cinder's forces are surely on their way. Oh, goody. Hey, Spyro, what was that about? I don't really know. I just felt like I had to hit it. And when I did, the power of a thousand suns surged through my body. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? You should really sleep better. You know, I'm gonna stop bugging you. You really need to get eight hours. Forget I said anything. Let's go. That's quite an entrance, young dragon. There might be hope for us yet. What are these things? These are spirit gems. A gift from the ancestors. What kind of gift? A gift that speaks across generations. A gift that empowers you with the spirit of the past. Strengthening you with the wisdom of the ages. I feel more powerful already. Do you hear that? What is it? Exactly what I feared. Look, Spyro. Perhaps we should turn back. What? After coming this far? If this door is closed, it means there are intruders behind. It's how the temple protects itself. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work too well, does it? So, what are you saying, Ignitus? What I'm saying is the only way the door will open... Don't say it! ...is if the intruders are kicked out of there. Didn't I just say don't say it? Well, Ignitus, we nabbed your guardian buddies, but you managed to escape our clutches. Until now. Stand back, Spyro. 
And let me show you what a dragon, trained in the ancient ways, can do. Whoa, the big guy's got some moves. Are you okay, Ignitus? Yes. As I get older, it takes longer to recover. You are incredible, Ignitus. Can you show me how to do that? Patience, young dragon. Soon enough, you'll learn all I have to teach. But right now, you must fight. If Cinder's forces were here, there will certainly be more of them in the temple. Oh, goody. They won't be there for long. Wonderful. Now he's getting cocky. Not in Kansas anymore. What happened here? This is what Cinda has done. Put all the islands under her iron rule. I wanted to see where I came from, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Yeah, no offense, but this place is a bit of a dump. This was once our home, Spyro. Together we can make it our home once again. Reclaim what's rightfully ours. What do you mean? I mean that my time for heroics is past, but with your help, we might be able to beat Cinder. I can't, Ignitus. I just learned what I am. You can, Spyro. You can. You are a purple dragon, a very special creature. You've given me hope again. And now it's time to give hope to all of them. I'm not sure what help I can be, Ignitus, but... I'll try. I'll try. Good. That's all I can ask. Now come with me. I have something for you. The style you used earlier is cruel, archaic, and obvious, but you got the job done. Not bad, considering you haven't been taught anything about what it means to be a dragon. Thanks. I 
think. Millie, if you're going to have a chance against Cinder and her army, you're going to need to learn a lot more. Oh good, school. Unlike any school you've ever known, young friend. Now, it's time to unleash the true dragon within you. Each of the Guardians is master of an element. I, as you may have surmised, am master of fire. Pay attention, and you may be someday too. Let's begin. What's with the poor big guy? If you must know, certain dragons have the ability to see visions. The thoughts, memories and dreams of others. And to see what's happening in places far, far away. I am one such dragon. And in this pool, the visions come forth. Oh really? Is that so? Okay, what am I thinking now? What am I thinking now? Okay, now. Now. Now, 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 now. I'm afraid it's not that easy, Sparks. It takes time, reflection, and patience. What I do see in the Pool of Visions is that Voltia, one of the Guardians, is being held on Dante's freezer. Spyro, while I look for details on the others, I want you to venture there and find out what you can. Remember, just look around. If you encounter Cinder, who run. You're not ready to face her yet. Okay, so when people are trying to kill me, I run? Got it. But, Ignitus, how do we get there? I'm glad you asked. Why are you smiling? I don't like it. Let me get this straight. You're saying that I can fly? Maybe you've been hanging in those caves a little too long, old man. Spyro can't fly, we all know that. Yeah, a bit of fresh air might do you good. I've, I've never flown in my life. It's you that will be getting some fresh air, Spyro. Now, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and empty your mind. Yes, yes, that's it. Now feel the power of your ancestors coursing through your body. In times of crisis, they will come to you and teach you. Unlocking powers you never knew you had. Boy, this I gotta see. Just forget everything you ever thought you knew. Forget yourself. Only through forgetting will you remember what your ancient blood already knows. You can fly. Are you kidding? He's flying! Welcome to the club, big guy! Would that be the annoying pest club? No, smart aleck, the flying club. Yeah, I could get used to this.
Dante's freezer is a desolate arctic expanse that's littered with the machinery of war. Soldiers and weapons frozen forever in the posture of destruction. You must find Voltir before he's lost forever. How the heck do I land? Coming in too fast! This doesn't look good. Incoming! That's gonna hurt. Ah! Nice landing, Ace. Yeah, maybe this flying thing ain't for me. Well, it sure doesn't help that you're carrying all that weight. You know, throw a salad in every once in a while. You might be okay. Yeah, I, I think I'll stick to the ground for a while. Good idea. Not exactly a friendly place, huh? Wonder where we should start. Well, I'm no hero like you, but maybe we should take that clearly marked path that leads to the interior? Is it weird that that blinked at me? Just keep moving. Ah! Ice Cube's alive! Why don't we use this thing to knock that bad boy down? <laughs> I knew I brought you along for a reason. You think that was Cinder? Uh, I sure hope so. What? Well, it, if it wasn't, it means there's more than one giant evil dragon around here. Oh, yeah, I hope that was Cinder too. Head this way, genius. Hey, Spock. Oh, check this out. Echo! echo, echo, echo. <laughs> All right, my turn. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the genius now, Echo? <laughs> Hey, that's him. We did it. Bye. Hmm. I don't like this. It's too quiet. Too easy. What? E what part was easy? Y getting chased by frozen madmen and gorillas? Uh, sparks. No, did get in? on the miraculous, incredible, stupendous. A dragon your size defeating that, that, that thing. Thank you. Uh, 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 Spyro. A purple dragon named Spyro. Amazing. Of course, there were unsubstantiated rumors of a purple dragon countless generations ago, but most considered a hearsay. Gossip, legend, it's hard to believe, difficult to fathom, amazing to comprehend. Uh, hmm? No wonder they gag this guy. So much time has passed, so many things have been learned. And now here he is, standing right before me. Excuse me, Mr. Vault. What, 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 what is it? Sir, should, shouldn't we get going? Oh, of course. But where to? Well, back to the temple. A friend of yours is waiting. Ignitus? Yes, Ignitus. Of course, much to tell him. Many hypotheses to pose. I believe. 
Yes, yes, Voltaire. It's good to see you as well, but we don't have time to waste on sentiment. Back to Cinder. She was doing what to you? Cinder's a chick? Oh, it's hard to be absolutely sure, Ignitus. But it seems she was using me as some sort of suspended organic power source. Huh? She was using him as a battery. Why didn't he just say so? Not only that, she also left with a glowing yellow orb. And I believe that I somehow powered it. Does this mean anything to you, Ignitus? Perhaps. Perhaps. What I do know is that we need to rescue the other Guardians before Cinder can power any more of those orbs. I agree, Ignitus, but first I'd like to impart some useful knowledge to Spyro. Vis-a-vis -vis his recently acquired electricity-based exhalation device. What? Well, he says he'd like to teach me some things about that electricity bird. Oi, why didn't you just say so? Cyril, the Ice Guardian, was taken to Tall Plains. You and Sparks must go there at once and find him. Yes, sir. But if we see danger, we should run, right? There are times when all of us need to stand up to danger, young Sparks. Yeah, maybe next month, next summer, perhaps next year. Just go. Now. Yes, sir. Tall Plains was once home to a proud ancient tribe called the Atlawa. Ah, oh, bless you. Sparks. The Atlawa were a people in tune with the rhythms of the seasons. Focused on their relationship to crops, their surroundings, their gods. They've all been driven underground by Cinder and her forces, who have taken over the tribe shrine. I sense that's where Cinder is keeping Cyril. Trying to power another crystal. You must find him before she succeeds. Right. It's never easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. So now you're spouting wisdom, hero boy? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> My friend. Does that mean what I think it does? Yeah. We've got to help him. Oh, brother. Watch it, would ya? I was just trying to help. Well, the Atlawa and Kane need no help. Oh, just about to spring into action, huh? Forget this guy, Spyro. Come on. What did they want with you, anyway? It's none of your business. Now move. I've got a tribe to save. Oh, you're welcome. going to have to use the water wheels to move ahead. Oh, it's never easy. I know the guy's an ingrate, but you gotta do something, and fast. Buddy, you're getting weirder and weirder by the second. You again? Why don't you get out of here and leave me in peace? 
I'm the boss here. Nobody else. Boss of what? Shh. You're all alone? Only until I kick these bums out. Which reminds me. I can't stand here chatting with purple dragons and mosquitoes. Hey, whoa, whoa. Who are you calling a mosquito? Besides, it's not safe for you here. Oh, concerned about our welfare now? No need. We can take care of ourselves. Anyway, we need to get to the shrine. You'll never make it. The shrine god has not been appeased since Cinder's forces came. He is not happy. So is anybody fun around here? You can't possibly face the god of the shrine alone. Not all of us are loners, Kane. I'm not going alone. Well, maybe someday you'll learn that two heads are better than one. Even if they are pinheads. Yeah, what? I have to admit, you've done better than I thought possible. Ah, oh, saying that had to hurt. More than you can imagine. There are some things you should know about the shrine before you enter. I think we're done here. Not before we rescue Cyril. The Atloa Shrine has been desecrated. And the god of the shrine has not been given tribute since Cinder's forces arrived. But if you can subdue his anger, the balance will be returned, and my people can come home. That's fine, but I came to free Cyril. You must go through the god of the shrine to free him. I knew you were gonna say that. Be careful. Remember last time. I know, I know, but Cinder left and I don't see any Ice Kings hanging around this place. for the hills you have subdued the god of the shrine restored balance to seasons the land our world the atlawas want to worship you now worship okay now that's what i'm talking about i've never gotten the respect i deserve the praise that should be mine that's very nice kane but we have to get back to our home figure out how to stop cinder for good my dear Alawas, I am the mighty spark, scourge of the despots. Yes, yes, old boy, we'd like nothing more than to stay and be a part of your primitive barbaric society, but duty calls, duty calls. If you must, you must. But know that you're now part of the Atlawa tribe. One of us. I am the mighty spark... whatever. By the way, you were right. About what? Maybe two heads are better than one. Even if one of them belongs to an annoying mosquito. Mosquito me? Is that what? Oh. Yes, yes, Voltaire. I see that months of tortured captivity have done nothing to slow that electric tongue of yours from incessantly wagging. It's just that it's all so exciting, exhilarating, enchanting, enthralling, and... All right, no more thesaurus for you, pal. All of you, please be quiet. It is certainly encouraging that Spyro has been able to free two of you to allow this reunion. But haven't we forgotten someone? Yes, yes, of course. Terrador. Precisely. Now, how do we proceed? I believe I can help, Igniters. Well, young chap, since you learned a few things about ice on tall planes, I suggest we adjourn to the training room so that I can teach you some more. The legacy of the great ice dragons of yore. My ancestors, who come from the best of the best of this somewhat bedraggled lineage, is long and storied. With my help, rescuing Terrador should be a certainty. Uh, your pomposity, arrogance and pretentiousness is odious to the extreme. 
Shall we? Something few can burst. Exactly are you saying, Igniters? Yes, your hypothesis is an intriguing one, but it is perplexing to the extreme. Huh? He says he doesn't know what he's talking about. Dude, I never know what he's saying. What I'm saying is that Cinder is harnessing the Guardian's power to unlock a portal that must never be opened. Why? What's behind this portal? That doesn't concern you right now. What does concern you is getting to Munitions Forge and freeing Terador before she can create another crystal from his powers. And before the volcano boom, blows, it, it, and that's enough, Voltaire. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time where we need more time to have horrible things happen to us? Why didn't we just stay in tall planes? Oh, I'm a big deal there. Quit complaining, Sparks. Maybe there's a tribe on Munitions Forge you can save, too. Yeah, but there's always something special about the first tribe you save. You know? Munitions Forge is an island dominated by Westpik. An unstable volcano that makes life on the surface very dicey. The locals who live underground have been forced to mine the metals that Cinder uses to forge her army's weapons. But what are the locals called? They are called Manwismals. Right. I need to write that down. Rumor has it that Cinder is holding Terador somewhere in the mines. We know she's using him to power the last of the crystal she needs to open the portal. Free him before she gets the chance. Boy, is it big. Boy, well, it's big. But no time for sightseeing, Sparks. Time to get serious. Let's go. Ah, uh, not again. Man, he is small. What's that? Who's there? It's it's me, Spyro, and the former god of tall planes, Sparks. You don't carry the stench of Cinder's beasts, so you must be friends. We are. And who are you? I'm Moliao, leader of the Manwar Smalls. But I'm not much of a leader anymore. Those of my people who aren't mining for Cinder <laughs> are holed up in their caves, scared out of their little wits, waiting for Buzzit Big to blow. Which shouldn't be long. If you would help me free them, perhaps there's something I could do for you? I don't know. We're here to rescue a big friend of ours. Is he a matter dragon? Yes. Why? Because I know where he's been kept. In the mines near a large lever cap, where my own brother, ex humor turns away. We can help each other. Well, which way do we go? What should we do next? Oh, it's simple enough, but we've got to hurry. Boys, it big is getting more unstable by the minute. We must clear these caves before we can help your friend. And you're asking him for directions? Wow, talk about blind leading the blind. Forget him, Moliere. We're in. Oh, you did it! You did it! A thousand thanks! Oh, it was nothing. Hey, no problem, pal. Well, you did your part. Now I will do mine. Your friend is being kept in the center of the volcano, past the labor camp where my brother, ex humor is working. Find him and let him know we're friends, and he'll tell you how to proceed. How will we know, ex humor Yeah, all you manner we smalls look the same to me. Oh, oh, you will know him. Trust me. He is the most cantankerous, hard-nosed man with small around. Whatever you do, don't get on his bad side. I 
bet you can't ring that bell. Why would I want to? Oh, you're scared. I'm not scared. Oh, the big special dragon is scared of the mean old bell. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Why don't I get your pillow you laid out? Byro, can you hear me? You okay, buddy? Hey, listen, forget about those cracks I made about your fatness and your being purple and stupid and fat. All right? Just get out of there, please, Spyro. Don't be dead. Did you say something? Me? No. No, I was talking out loud, thinking of my day I gotta do. Well, just thought I heard something before I blasted my way out. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, now, must be hearing things. <laughs> Come on, you worthless waste of flesh, let's go! We gotta hop on steam and get back to that flea-bitten dragon. The crystal should be almost ready, and the volcano is right on the brink. Come on, Sparks, we've got to catch them. to drive this thing. Uh, how hard can it be? It's on rails. Oi, famous last word. <laughs> wait, 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 we're on your side. More likely spies for the Conductor, or that flying beast, Cinder. No, Moliere sent us. Mom, my brother is alive. He sure is, pal. He's all safe and sound. But I gotta say, he's the friendly one in the family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In this dark time, one can't take chances. So, Moliere is alive. Oh, wonderful news. <laughs> But why did he say you were here? Well, he, he said he might be able to tell us where our friend Terador is. If he's a big dragon, I certainly can. The majority of the Manuel Smalls are kept here in this camp, forced to live above ground and mine for cinder. And there are rumors that your dragon friend is being kept somewhere inside, in the darkest pits of the volcano. All of us are doomed. Not if we have anything to say about it. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, we're going to free the man we're smalls, venture to the darkest pits of Boys at Big, and find Terador. Then, it's off to karaoke. Well, I see you two crazy kids found each other. Yes, at last! Thanks to you. We're just disappointed you didn't leave any fun for us. Maybe next time. So now, which way to Terador? That way, but be careful. The Conductor and his maniacal locomotive will surely be close by. When you say be careful, does that mean try not to die? I'm trying to do that anyway. Come, Max Humor. We must get all the man with smells underground where they belong. Yes, it won't be long now. <laughs> Dragon being held prisoner in the center of an explosive volcano? I'm guessing that's Terador. 
careful. It's never this easy. After the last two times, you're not gonna get an argument from me, Chief. Oh, here we go again. You're a little late, fella. The crystal's already charged and the volcano's ready to blow. Before it does, me and Steve here are gonna take great pleasure in running you down. Dragon lives. He's got a name, you know. Yes, my name is Spyro. And you must be Terador. Yes, yes I am. And I must say, I never thought I'd live to meet you, Spyro. Look, I'd love to sit here and hug everybody and chit-chat, but how about we leave before the volcano blows us up? You're right. I've got to tell the others what Cinder is up to. Let's go. Right behind you. Actually, I'm right in front of you. Look, when the guy says run, I think he knows something. Go, Spyro! Fly like you've never flown before! I'll go back to the temple for help! We've got to find them. Help Ignitus. They're gone, Spyro. There's nothing we can do. I don't care. Ignitus wouldn't leave me. Spyro, he's right. I'm right? Oh my god, that's a first. Yes. You'd never find them in this mess. And you're not ready to face Cinder yet. Time to fight will come. But it is not now. <sighs> I guess you're right. Let's go. It's my fault. I failed Ignitus when he needed me most. It's just that the sight of Cinder so close just... just... Made your heart stop? Put ice in your veins? Scared the crud out of you? Yeah, something like that. All warriors feel fear at one time or another, Spyro. There's no shame in that. Yes, it's a proven scientific fact that the quotient between adrenaline and trepidation... Voltaire, please, I believe our good friend here was trying to make a point? Thank you, Cyril. What I was going to say is that all warriors feel fear, Spyro, but only the most valiant among us can face that fear and master it. From what I saw of you on Munitions Forge, you are one such warrior. Young Dragon, now is the time to complete your training. Now is the time to face your fear. Come. Am I the only one still petrified? Final confrontation awaits. on the back, good going, all that other rubbish, but we've got to get moving here. Oh, Cyril is terribly obnoxious, but in this case he happens to be right, Terador. Ignitus is the final piece to Cinder's puzzle. 
If that last crystal is powered, the portal will open and we'll all be done for. I know, I know. When I was on Munitions Forge, I overheard the Conductor say that Cinder's final preparations would take place at her lair, where she lives in solitude among the clouds and the towers. I am certain that's where she's taken Ignitus. We have to go. Come on. I'd give anything to go with you, young warrior. But that crystal sapped the last of my will. I fear my fighting days are over. Every generation must pass the torch to the next, Terador. Our time is done. Yes, it is Spyro's time to shine. Now go to it, young dragon. Yes, sir. Wow, you guys make even me want to face Cinder. Did I say that out loud? Cinder's lair is where hope goes to die, Spyro. A dark, foreboding place in which Cinder broods and skulks and plans her next assault. You must make your way to her fortress, where I'm sure Ignitus is being held. Next time I say that I want to face Cinder, why don't you go ahead and punch me in the mouth? No problem. Spyro. Um, Spyro. What? I don't like this. It feels like she's baiting us. I'm getting smarter. Spyro! Destroy the crystal! Quickly! Let's get him out of here before Cinder gets back. If only it were that easy, little one. So, so, so b -b big. Time you learned how complicated life can be. Run! Spyro! Save yourself! Not this time. This time I fight. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> it's so sad it must end this way. Now, where was I? Does she ever use doors? There was something in her eyes, Ignitus. Something familiar. There should be, Spyro. You and Cinder share more than you know. It's time I told you the truth. All of it. You see, after I took your ape to the Silver River, I returned to the grotto to find utter chaos. The other Guardians had been overrun, and all the other eggs had been smashed by the Dark Master's forces. All except one. You see, the Dark Master was torn. He wanted to destroy all the eggs to prevent the birth of the Purple Dragon. But he also needed a dragon. Why would he need a dragon? Us, Spyro. Only one born in the year of the dragon could open the portal that served as the Dark Master's prison. Cinder? I'm afraid so. 
But if we come from the same place, why is she so... so... Evil? Monstrous? Big? Sexy? Oops, did I say that? Because, Spyro, after the night of the raid, she was corrupted by the Dark Master's poisonous powers, twisted by his evil law. She's become the Dark Master's monster. But why? What does this Dark Master want? He wants to be freed from the portal of convexity, to wreak havoc across the realms. And if Cinder gets there, he just might succeed. I'm afraid we might be too late. No, I refuse to give up. I'm going to stop Cinder and the Dark Master. <laughs> Wait, you uh, you heard the dragon, Spyro. He said, too late. We'll get him next time. Come on, champ. You did a great job, and let's let's take five. No, I'm ready now. Okay, okay, Spyro, you're right. At the very least, you have to try. If the Dark Master escapes, a shadow will fall over the land. And who knows what will happen then. May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Convexity acts as an airlock between our world and the dark realms beyond. You must stop Cinder before she inserts the final crystal and activates the portal, freeing the Dark Master. see a whole lot more. Come on. My master returns. We're too late. <laughs> Persistent little fellow, aren't you? This is where it really ends. Bring it. No mercy this time. I can't watch this. Just like me. Dude, we gotta get out of here now. I, I can't leave her behind. I've got to save her. So what? Save the beast that's been trying to kill us? Yeah, that wasn't her fault. She was being used by the Dark Master. Can go. I'm right behind you, buddy.
Mommy, fluff my pillow. Feeling better, Spyro? Not really, Ignitus. That battle drained every last bit of my strength. I can hardly lift my head. Yes, it will take some time for your powers to return. But they will in time, young dragon. They will in time. Cinder, ever since I failed the night of the raid, I've dreamt of this day. It wasn't just you, Ignitus. We all failed. Be that as it may, we're together again now. Thanks to Spyro. Well done, young dragon. Thanks, Ignitus. But we still don't know what's happened to the Dark Master. No matter, Spyro. There will be time to talk of the Dark Master later. Now it's time to be grateful for your success. His success? Hey, what about me? Just because a bunch of weird stuff doesn't fly out of my mouth doesn't mean I didn't help you now. Yeah, you, you were a, a big help, Sparks. No doubt about it. But just for the record, a lot of weird stuff does come out of that little mouth of yours. And what the heck is that supposed to mean? You know, I don't need this. I could have stayed with the llama people, whatever, where I was appreciated, but no. No, I just had to help the poor, helpless dragons rid the world of evil. What a mistake that was, because I get no thanks. No respect, no love, no credit. My goodness. And I thought Voltaire talked a lot. I left home too, you know. I'm a little guy, yeah, that's right. Maybe you haven't noticed. Things are a lot bigger to me than they are to you. And did I back away? Uh-uh. Nah, nah, nah. Why? Because I got moxie. I'm a tough cookie. I got class. <laughs> I got a, <clears throat> a little frog in my throat. As I was saying, on tall planes, they knew a good thing when they saw it. They recognized the value of a quality dragonfly like me. But here I get nothing. Not even a thanks. Hey, how you doing? Good. Let me buy you a drink. I should go back to the swamp. Mom will make it all good. <laughs> Mommy always does.
See anything, Spyro? No. But I've got a bad feeling. Me too.